Hello again, YouTube. Truth Man here at the channel is the No Majors, No Simping, All Subject channel. So y'all know I'm self-employed out here. And I'm just getting started. Anybody that's self-employed know that that's a no-no. Unless you are already like established, like an established millionaire, hundreds of thousands in the bank, you might get away with it. If you're not, man, you gotta you gotta get you gotta get started early, man. So we gotta get back to who relationships are for. What women are for relationships. We mainly still talking about black women. We talking about black women. Nothing against no other women. We'll get around to them. I'll be, I'll clarify, I'll specify. But we still talking mainly about black women. What black women? You a black man, you want to deal with black women. What's the characteristics of one that you can actually have a relationship with. I heard some guys, I was talking to somebody earlier, and that person said, I told I've been telling them, man, you need a channel. You need to go on YouTube, make some video. You'll be helping these guys. He definitely, I'm telling you, if YouTube was fair with his videos and he got on here and was saying the stuff he say to me, Man, he would he would get make a lot of money. He'll get that YouTube back. I really should be getting it, and hopefully they gonna start letting me get it. I don't know, man. Something's, somebody got something. To get. Uh, I don't know. I don't think it's all of them, but I think it's specific ones. Cause like it get weird on certain days. But we talking about black women and which black women would a black man let's say you're a Hebrew Israelite you you don't, you don't go for the snow bunny you don't go for the, the uh, Miss Tortilla you don't go for the Chinese rice you want a black woman okay man okay I'm gonna help you I'm gonna help you I'm gonna use my prophetic gifts to help you because sometimes I go by what I know from my experience and sometimes I go from what I know from other people's experience and sometimes I just get flat out prophetic the first thing she can't be like Jezebel or like Eve but that's any woman you don't want her to be on no feminist stuff you don't want her I don't need no man she say that you know not to get in no relationship with her. You got to know how to vet, man. You got to sneak things in where she'll share her true innermost feelings. And if, if you can get her out of saying, I don't need no man, then guess what? Any woman that says they don't need no man, especially a black woman, will try to control you and try to run you and and they will cheat on you because they they don't need you they'll they'll monkey branch because they don't need you so when they say that man you already know that she is not prime real estate for you to rest your loins in you know so that's number one. Jezebelic behavior. You can't be King Ahab in any relationship. If you read your Bible, you already know how King Ahab conducted himself with his wife Jezebel. If you gonna be King Ahab, you don't need to be in no relationship. You gonna mess yourself up. You gonna get emasculated. You are. You don't want one to say you you better out, ask her, uh, be like, so how to 
such and such sound to you. Like some questions be seeming corny and dumb, but you will learn something. Like what do I mean by this? Like let's say your last name is Parker. And her last name is uh uh Cole. Her first name is Nicole. Nicole Cole, right? And you say something to her like, so how do Nicole Parker sound to you? She say Boy, please. Nigga, please. Or or some if, if I marry you, I'm keeping my last name. I'm well, I'm just gonna have a hyphenated name. And nope. They had a hyphenated name, they gon' more than likely have hyphenated behavior. That half and half stuff. Half of the time they gonna submit to you and listen to you. Half of the time they gonna be disrespectful and, and untrustworthy. So they not for relationships either. I wouldn't. Like there's some exceptions to every rule, but I believe that hyphenated name. I even know some of them. They're not gonna submit to no man. They not. So that's another thing. And you know, how often do you see white people with hyphenated names? You don't do you? A lot of the women you see with them hyphenated names, a lot of the people you see with hyphenated names be black. They mother be black. That's usually a lot of time when you see that hyphenated name. Not every time, but a lot of time. So that's another thing. Next thing. Black women are, from what I see, I mean, it's all of them. Uh, I got to keep saying it's all, but we ain't talking about black the people that I saw with work husbands at jobs I had, I would say that 95% of them were black women. They were. They were. Had work husbands. Or they were biracial, they were half black. They had black, but black was somewhere in there, doggone it. Almost all of the ones I knew a biracial chick, like she was so up close and personal with dude that a lot of people was thinking when she came up pregnant, that was his. Of course, of course, of course. She said it was her man at home. Of course. So I heard a couple guys like, I was listening to Coach Greg Adams and he made some statements uh, about black women. Uh, how he, he he didn't say he, he didn't like them, but, but it's clear that they weren't his first choice. Black women act like they everybody first choice, but they ain't hardly anybody first choice. So the next thing I want to mention is the arrogance. Now he mentioned the aggression section. A lot of dude, there's a lot of dude, not me. I, don't, I ain't worried about nobody saying that to me. But there's some dudes that they not well endowed. So they be thinking the white black girl gonna be like girl he got little D-I-C-K now he shouldn't be worried about that he should just be trying to get hit so that's another thing the uh the lack of sexual confidence um uh, that men have towards black women because of the, the sexual rudeness. They be, they be thinking basically that she gonna say something like, man, you need to put that back up where you got it from. Or that she gonna say something 
grew sexual. Look, man. Before a woman says a guy has ED, I want to see him. Well, I don't want to see him. Pause. I want to, like, he has to be in action with other women. Now, if you put five different women, all different races, all different ages, in front of him, and he had that same problem every time, all different shapes and sizes, then it's possible he might have a little problem there. But you can't say just her because here's another thing. We talked about the desire to dominate. Now, now I agree with Minister Jeff. I agree with, uh, I've heard Coach Greg Adams say it. I've heard other content creators say I, from what I see, I, I, I don't agree in every case, but I gr agree that I've experienced it negatively at work that some black women have an allegiance to white men. Either them, the men you always hear them talk about being attractive and or they at work, they more submissive to their white manager, supervisor, boss, whatever you want to call them, than they are to their husband or their engaged uh, fiance boyfriends. Next thing is. They not docile enough. What do I mean by that? This white dude's like white girl. Cause, Cause a real white girl, I ain't talking about no mud shark. They try to act like uh, black women and be cold switching and when she talking and all that stuff, we ain't talking about them. But a suburban white girl, a white girl that's been around mostly white people They'll switch up when you marry them as well. That's why marriage is, should be mostly off the table until proven over a long period of time worthy. But they not gonna be as combative and argumentative. I told y'all, that's why I say I give my grandmother props and credit because my grandmother wasn't like that. My grandmother was a unicorn, a straight up unicorn. Like I tell y'all all the time, I talk about her all the time. We couldn't even eat until she either took my grandfather's plate or made my grandfather plate. Uh, uh, she'd be like, uh, don't touch nothing. I ain't made grand plate yet. Well, I shouldn't be saying that. I ain't made, talking about my grandfather. I ain't made his plate yet. So. I saw the unicorn. She embraced. He was out here messing up. She still was stuck standing by him. Sticking with him. And my grandmother. I'm going to tell y'all something. My grandmother never stopped having S.E. X-ray with my grandfather until he got sick they went at it till he got sick so all that's another thing all women do this we black women got this bad problem of getting lazy sexually over time and when they get mad they try to put that thing on strike while demanding faithfulness and will leave you if you get a piece somewhere else I'm telling you flat out telling you so next thing Black women are very disrespectful towards black men sometimes. 
Who wants to be in a relationship with that ish? They be disrespecting me on here. And the thing is, you don't got to watch my videos. You don't got to like me. You don't got to. Oh, you this, you that. Okay. You ugly. You need to do something about your beard. <laughs> Next, anything else you got to say? You this. <laughs> okay, there you go. Fake cry. You want me to cry. But I ain't gonna cry. I ain't gonna even care. Cause guess what? Even though I'm talking about black women, I don't care about no relationship with no woman. I get in one with a decent one, but I get out of it just as quick as I get in it. Man, I'm done with that, man. I know the truth about all that. I've experienced the truth. And, I, and I'm not in no red pill rage. I'm not mad at, you know, I'm not mad at her. I'm not mad at none of these women. Times have changed, man. These women is not, so, so when I was in college, right, the women that wanted to be in relationship and that you was in relationship with, they were different. Their demeanor was different. The way they carry themselves was different. Their loyalty level was different than these women who want to be in a relationship today. They want you to choke them so when they get mad at you, they'll tell the police you choked them and you can't say you didn't. You can't say you did You can't say, yeah, I did, but that was done. Shit, she wanted me to be, 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 be. Get the... You shouldn't be doing it. Man, if these women can hump, hump a pillow and get off, they don't need you to choke them. These women be getting off from all kind of stuff. So, they can be quite disrespectful, y'all. I've seen it. Like I had a, I had a very confused individual tell me next time, man, uh, uh, and that's what, like, this happened at work. That's what led to the argument we had. Like, she was like, I said, I was kind of trolling her. I said, are you trying to tell me how to be a man? Because I knew what she'd do. I knew what her sexuality was. So I'm like, see, there's women out there that think because you want to be a certain type of way, that qualifies you to be with us over here. I hope y'all can read between the lines what I'm saying. You would never be with us over here because you wasn't born like us over here. You could try as hard as you can, change the way you talk, change the way you wear your hair, the way you wear your clothes, you still over there. So we got into it because I was like, I was kind of trying to keep my cool. She was doing amateur things related to our job and I had came back to the company and she was there and, and like, yeah, I know stuff changed, but what she was doing didn't even make sense. So this particular individual, guy, I got into an argument with a guy and I sent him to his cell. And I turn my back, I'm doing something going this way. And I look up and he's standing by me. I practically jump and put my, put my post up. And that's when we got into it. I'm like, man, what is he doing out here? I said, he on restriction. Yeah, but I'm still giving him a phone call though. I said, restriction don't get phone calls. I said, how long you been working here? She ain't respond. I said, asked her again. I said, how long you been working here? So she was, was passing out trays, food trays. 
she came back across the room like she was just like she had just got her superpower. Next time you talking to me, I said I pointed to myself. I said, "Are you trying to tell me how to be a man?" I just laughed in her face. Then we got into it. She stormed off, went in there, and trying to put ideas and notions in the supervisor head. He didn't agree with her, but they say she was good in the bed and good with her head. So he played along with it. Then he called me, you know, and I explained to him how that went. Uh, but, man, the sun is this way. I explained how it went. So, we got into it. Because once again, I don't, I don't, look. I've seen white women drive these guys crazy. Ain't no, they all do the same stuff. Slight differences, but they all pretty much do the same stuff. So, but we talking about black women today. And the type of, the ones you can get in the relationship with. The first thing is respect. It's easy to tell when they respect you because of how they talk to you. Like when they get mad at you, it's gonna take a whole lot. When a, when a black woman respects a black man, it takes a whole lot for her to get disrespectful when they have a disagreement. It takes a lot for her to insult him when she respects him. Like she'll still be trying to talk to him in a respectable way because she respects him. See, it's, it's easy to, it's more, I would say, it's easier to detect with them when they respect you because they're not going to be cutting you off. Like, of course, every now and then, women talk a lot, so every blue moon, they're going to cut you off. But a black woman, when she don't respect you, she go every time you had any ideas or anything that she don't like or agree with, she gonna cut you off. You ain't gonna it don't take you 10, 15 minutes to get one idea across, one uh sentence across, because she don't respect you. She don't. They 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 think they the catch of all catches, but they don't even a lot of them don't. Who, where they learn respect from? They heard their mamas and their grandmothers cussing men out and they had passive men, so those men was just taking it. So they never really learned respect. Your mama got to teach you that. She got to show you that with her actions. A lot of time when their mama ain't respectful toward their daddy, well, how, where's, what you expect? That's why you got to vet the parent. You, you got to know what's going on with them, especially if they still deal with each other. That's an easy one. If they calling each other name, not getting along, how are you trying to marry her? She going to do the same thing. Uh, I ain't going to be like that. More than likely you are. You are. So you, you she, if she show you respect, that's a point in her favor. Next thing. Y'all dudes be giving up all y'all women for them. But they should be giving up their guys before you give up your women. Because biblically, you don't even have to. If they still, like I, I had a, I was talking to somebody about this today. He was trying to say, that when you just dating them, it's none of your business who they talking to. 
Some guys believe that. Now, I look at it like this. That's a woman. And if she going to be my woman, then she got to start conducting herself like she want to be my woman. You can't be my woman with all these dudes. I don't know what you're doing to them. Now, I see what he's saying in the sense that if you're not with him, I said that and what you said, that don't only apply if you're just trying to smash him. That's when that apply. She ain't yours, it's just your turn. Okay. I can kind of see that logic. But guess what, though? If it can't be my turn and your turn at the same time, either it's going to be me or it's going to be you or y'all. Y'all want to play that game with her? I'll get out the way and I'll find me a lonely chick with built up uh, 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 sexual desire because she ain't been doing nothing. They can't listen. They out here. They out here. Next thing, like, that, again, that loyalty, that's important. You got to be saying that out the gate. Some type of traces of loyalty. Next thing is submissiveness. Again, I remember this one chick, like, you talk to her. She talking the whole time, cutting you off. Like, no. But she'll say stuff like like her boyfriend was just the worst guy. I can see just I can see how you are just from this. Just from talking to you. If she thinks she's stronger than you. Like if you okay, if you date, let's say you date a supervisor or something, you gotta make sure she understands, look. You might be my boss in here, but you ain't my boss at home. You ain't never gonna be my boss at home. And if you try to, I ain't gonna I ain't gonna mess with you no more. And you could just quit the job. You try to you gotta check her right away. Y'all get home. She trying to do man, if you don't get out of here, we ain't at work. I'll play nice at work. A lot of y'all got this problem. Y'all too nice to these women. You don't need them. You want them. If you need them, you not 100% man. You want them. I want them. You want them. Understand that. You don't need them. Was well, any woman in this car right now? That's what I thought. You seen one? Point made. Swish. So, yeah, man. Those things is important. That loyalty factor. He's right when he said it can be very sexually aggressive, which can lead to them having side do. Based on the stats, black women had the most difficulty in relationship. One reason I think they scarred by Pookies and Ray Rays. Tyrone's running trains on them. Amtrak, all through them. So, human Amtrak. So yeah. That know how to cook, you want her to know how to cook. That's where well, they say these white women be throwing down. But that's where a lot of black women, oh yeah, they they yeah. That's why it don't matter as much. Yeah, yeah, I thought I was going there, huh? You can get somebody to cook for you. You can get somebody to clean for you. 
And they need to know that because they the main ones saying that they ain't going to do it. You are if you with me. And I don't want to keep hearing about it. You going to do it, do it. I don't want to keep hearing about it. When it's time for them bills to get paid, do I, oh, you, you, you gonna pay this bill. You, uh, you, uh, I'm not for to pay all these bills. I'm not your, your bank. You hear guys saying that? But I've heard many black women say to their man, their boyfriend, their brother, their cousin, I'm not your maid. I'm not finna keep cleaning up behind you. The double standard is in them all. But it's strong. It's flexing in black women. I'm not your maid. But when it's time to pay them bills, though, can you tell them I'm not your ATM? You can't. Don't get no relationship with no argumentative black woman. If the angry stere angry black woman stereotype is true, without being provoked, if somebody initiates some misbehavior towards her, she get provoked. We ain't talking about that. We talking about stuff where she shouldn't even be mad at. You go and look at women. She can't be no control freak. She got to realize that you're going to look at women or don't get no relationship with her. She got to be selfless, bringing something to the table. I don't care what Snoop say. I like Snoop. Snoop, one of my favorite rappers. But guess what? Snoop is a, a hundred. He got a hundred million dollars. So if Snoop say something like my wife ain't never worked a day in her life. It don't hit the same with a work working dude like me or you. Well, Snoop said, hey, my, shut the hell up. Snoop got way more money. You try to bring him up. Man, shut up. Well, Snoop said, hey, my, can never. That's, uh, that's another thing. Always having to prove a point. Know when to shut up. A lot of black women don't. Always got to get last word. Always got to prove a point. Man, shut up. Well, I'm smart, though. You might be. But I don't trust nobody that can't shut up. I think that's easy work for a dude with gang. He going to be all in their guts. She might say he ain't, but if she can't shut up, man, these dudes will be doing all kind of stuff to her. That's a sign of a weak mind. You can't never be quiet. Shut up. And unfortunately, they, a lot of them got to get last word. Don't know when to shut up. Don't know when to leave well enough alone. They attack you, you jack them up. I'm going to fix you. <laughs> Calling the police on you. And they attacked you. You know? I don't like when people walk past and I'm doing video. I be covering up my camera. Because they'll, they'll come right in your camera. They'll be right in it. And I'd be all in her job, too. Be like, I think he got some type of YouTube channel. It ain't for everybody to know. I don't be broadcasting it to people I don't know or don't like. So all these things, if she know when to shut up, that's another good thing. 
if she respects you and she don't be making the arguments get more intense because you ever see like when you when somebody don't respect you your arguments with them is going to get more intense that's why people be out here fighting because they be arguing with people who don't respect them anyway you should never argue with somebody who don't respect you because you're going to end up fighting and you don't need you don't got time to be in jail but anyway most black women most women period just not fit for relationship 2024 if you gotta have a relationship man just consider the things that I'm talking about take it slow give them plenty time to mess up and plenty time not to plenty time it's most of them it ain't just black it's all across the board they just not fit for a relationship they trying to fight guys that they can't whoop or just doing all kind of stuff they 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 super friendly around other men they talk this being the only one but they never make you the only one I'm almost to that point man where I I never just judge them all and say I don't want to deal with none of them but the experiences is leading me that way man Some I gotta see some type of unicorn for me to say okay alright but anyway, I do thank y'all for watching. Hey, man, let them talk that relationship talk, man. Then a lot of them ain't fit for a relationship, so you have to do this.